None get to God but through trouble. And everybody said in a deep, low rumble, amen. Now, somewhere under your seat is a bar of soap or a stack of bars of soap under somebody's seat near you. If you could take a moment and get that out. Um, and then if you could unwrap the soap, it should not. Great artists understand that it isn't just how much you can fit into a piece of work. It isn't just how much you can cram in there. There is an equally or maybe even more important task, which is knowing what needs to be taken away. A good graphic designer understands that it's not just how much that you can get into that logo, to that design, to that canvas. It isn't just how much you can cram in. It's knowing what needs to be taken away to get at the pure essence of the thing you are trying to create and design. It's the art of elimination. Anybody, Michelangelo said that his David was in the stone the whole time clamoring to be freed. In the late 70s, a design student for $30 created a swoosh. And years later, whether it's on its side, whether there's a lace in the way, whether it's dark where the shoe is turned, they don't even have to use the name Nike anymore for you to know who made it. What is it? It's a classic example of design by elimination, practicing rigid elimination, which therefore makes it incredibly hard to reproduce. It's the art of elimination. A while ago, I invited some sculptor friends of mine over to my house. I made them dinner and then gathered them around this large circular table we have in our house, and I gave them bars of soap, much like the bars of soap that you're holding in your hands. We passed out knives and carving utensils, and I said, go for it. Carve whatever you want, and then at some point in a little while, we'll have a sort of show and tell and see what everybody came up with. So they began uh, to carve, and after about an hour, the table had like piles of soap shavings, and people began to put down their knives, and then they began to show what they made. By the way, <laughs> and then they began to show uh, what they'd been carving. And then this one. And then this one. I know, a bunny! <laughs> a bunny! And look at the nose, look at the detail on that. The ears, the ears haven't fallen off. I would make just the ears and the ear would fall off of itself. I mean, this bu the bunny. And this one. <laughs> Every single city at this slide, the whole crowd goes. I know. This one. And I think this next one is uh, my favorite. It's just amazing. <laughs> and then, lastly, the piece de triomphe. It's a urinal. <laughs> I know. Oh, and then, and then we got this one. Two slides as well, an infinity loop. Endless possibilities. Now, take a look at the bar of soap in your hand. Everything that you just saw on the screen, you are holding in your hands. You are holding the bunny in your hands. You are holding the links in your hands. In your hands at this moment, you hold a soap urinal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything that you just saw on the screen, you hold in your hand. You literally have in the palm of your hand with that bar of soap, endless possibilities. Endless possibilities of shape, form, texture, design, beauty. 
It's all right there. My sculptor friends simply knew what to take away. They knew what needed to be removed. They simply practiced the art of elimination. And they got at something that was in there the whole time. I find